So now we're getting into liquid soap. I've made about five batches so far, and this was the hardest one. Since Dr. Bronner popularized Castile soap, I wanted to do a true Castile soap, so it's 100% olive oil. I also wanted it to be as easy as possible, so cold process is my jam, meaning no slow cookers, pots, or stovetops. I make it almost exactly like bar soap, except I use potassium hydroxide with the sodium hydroxide. Get more into this later. So here's the ingredients list for a store-bought soap. We need to stop pretending that this is okay. For this recipe, all you need is olive oil, potassium hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide. For equipment, we're looking at a couple of bowls, a measuring cup, a scale, and a stick blender. The big difference between liquid and bar soap is using potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide. Olive oil is slow to turn into soap, so for this recipe, I do a 70-30 mix. Using a little bit of sodium hydroxide, it helps the olive oil turn into soap a lot quicker. So you can see potassium hydroxide are flakes instead of little granules. Other than that, they're exactly the same to work with. Then I weigh out my water. The recipe's below. It's the same steps here. You add the acid to the water. You stir it up. Don't breathe it in. Try to do it outside if you can. Don't get it on your hands. Then I weigh out the olive oil, nice and easy because it's only one oil. Add your lye water in. And like I said, this is just like making bar soap. Hit it with the stick blender until it reaches trace. It takes a little longer with potassium hydroxide, and like I said, that's why I cut it with the sodium. But this should only take a minute or two. While you're waiting, subscribe, like, notifications. All right, there we go, putting consistency. This is what we're looking for. So now you could stop stick blending and just set it aside. In 24 or 48 hours, one or two days, this is what it should look like. A honey-like consistency, kind of gooey, not super sticky. This is ready to dilute into water. So usually for liquid soap, I do about a two to one ratio of water to soap paste. But with this, I was able to stretch it way further. We're talking like three or four to one. With this recipe, I got almost three liters of liquid soap. Now I just fill up the jar with tap water. People get a little crazy about distilled water. It's supposed to make a clearer soap, but I have tap water, so that's what I use. Okay, at this point, you can let it sit if you're patient, or you can stir it up until all the paste dilutes into the water. If you let it sit, it's gonna take quite a while, probably about a week. So I just shake it around every once in a while. And you should expect to get a liquid soap consistency. This will depend on how much water you use, but it'll probably be a little bit more liquidy than what you're used to getting at the store. So now I just bottle it up um, into gift bottles or pump bottles. And this soap, I would probably use this for hands and body. It's gotta be one of the gentlest soaps in existence. Not great for cleaning dishes, but if you have sensitive skin, I mean, you gotta give this a shot. Lather's pretty weak, but it's insanely moisturizing. That's it, Castile soap, liquid, cold process, easy, you can do this.